Welcome to about two miles above sea level high in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado and this is Cliffhanger 2.0, TFL's new test of ultimate off-road worthiness. Why is it so hard? Well, look at it for yourselves. It's steep, it's deep, it's loose, and it's rocky. And we're gonna take some of the most off-road vehicles we can get our hands on up the cliffhanger to see how capable they are. Check it out for yourself. It's most certainly a Jeep thing, or is it a Goldilocks thing? You'll get that reference by the end of this video. Today, I have brought what is perhaps one of the most off-road capable vehicles that you can buy. It's the Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock Edition. And this has all the bits and pieces that you'd want to go up Cliffhanger 2.0. But first, I need some help. Now, I brought the 2016 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk to this comparison. Did I bring a knife to a gunfight? I have pretty good confidence. Now, unlike Andre's little Fiat over here, I'm very certain that this 2016 Jeep Wrangler Sport S will make it up Cliffhanger 2.0. Gentlemen, how do we decide who gets to go up for the very mm. first run of Cliffhanger 2.0? How about rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, let's do it. All right, ready. One, two, three. Oh, yes. oh I got right. you. I'll, I'll see you at the top, okay? Right, see yeah. you at the top. The first part of the Cliffhanger 2.0 is a bit rocky, not too steep yet, but it gets steeper and rockier as you go. I have 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is always good. Uh, I'm going around some of these rocks. Okay, I really have to plan my line. And it's getting, it's getting rockier and rockier. This Trailhawk model has one of the best approach and departure angles in the segment. I have underbody protection. I also have a low range gearing for the 4x4 system that gives me a 20 to 1 crawl ratio. So I've got Goodyear Wrangler SRA tires. And what does the Jeep Sport have? The same brand tire. Obviously, the Wrangler tire is a little bit taller, but I have good confidence in this. I'm not gonna give up, it's easy, but... Really? Come on, you can do it. You can do it, system. I got four low. I've got rock mode. I'm floored, but the system is cutting power. Go on, Jeep, you can do it. I know you can do it. All right, I'm stuck. Andre didn't make it. Nope, no way. So, so who gets to try next? Well, let's do rock, paper, scissors again. All right, one more time. One, two, three. Go! Oh! oh, you get to go next, dude. Watch and learn. All right. Now let's talk about the brake lock differential system in all Wranglers. This is a system that activates in four wheel drive high and four wheel drive low. And what this means is, if it senses a wheel slipping, it'll send the power to the other wheel per axle. So if my front right wheel is slipping, it'll recognize that, give it a second, and it'll send power to the front left wheel that hopefully is traction. Oh, is that a Renegade? Oh, I wonder if Andre's just stopped for some lunch. Let's. Uh, let, let's check it out here. Do you just like the view here? Uh, yes. The it's the view, is isn't it? Nice. Actually, I stopped uh, up ahead. Let me show you where I stopped, yeah. okay? Yeah, let's see. This Jeep Wrangler has 373 axle ratios for a lower crawl speed and more torque. And secondly, it has Jeep's track lock, limited slip, rear differential. This along with the brake lock differential system already installed on the Wrangler, good tires, good approach angle, good departure angle, and the six-speed manual transmission, I think I got this in the bag. Now this is a very difficult trail and that Renegade is fairly capable and the fact that it got stuck is, is testament to just how challenging this trail is. So is this it? This is where I stopped. Let's can see. You, can you make it past? Come on Jeep, let's do it. Oh, no problem. Look at it go. Now you can feel the solid axles working underneath me. This doesn't have the Dana 44 up front that Roman's Jeep has. It has the Dana 30, but still, no problems whatsoever. It's just doing amazing. And these are big boulders. 
there are other differences between this Wrangler and the Wrangler Sport. And of course, those are the two buttons here. The fact that I can disconnect the sway bar so that I can keep the tires in contact with the ground longer. It basically allows the articulation to be greater. And of course, I've got all four wheels pulling really hard all the time. Andre's got his thumb up. <laughs> hey dude, what up? Hey dude, uh, can I have a ride? Hell yeah, hop in! Thanks. Hey, why is Tommy stopped up there? Do you know? What's going on? Is there something? Uh, is you know, there's a, there's a fork in the road. There's a fork in the road? Yeah, there's a fork in the road. And we have a decision to make here. Okay, all right, well, let's, so, let's get up there. So what makes this Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock Edition so off-road worthy? It certainly isn't this power hood, but it is this front bumper that you can remove to give you a better approach angle. Over here, check it out. A metal skid plate. The Sport is plastic, but it's all the stuff that's baked inside. There are Dana 44. There's a 410 rear axle ratio, which gives you a great ability to crawl up the cliffhanger. And get this, not one, but two locking differentials, both front and rear. So in essence, you get four-wheel drive all the time. And perhaps most importantly, it has these. Check them out. Mud terrains. Look at the knobbies on those. Those will just bite into the rocks and just crawl their way up. Cliffhanger 2.0, I hope. You know, what we have here is a Goldilocks, right? Story, we've got one Jeep that's really good on-road, yeah. the Renegade, and has Let's call it uh, fall weather and light off-roading capability. Yes, I mean, I made it to the trailhead. Yes, no yes, problem. No problem. Then we have another Jeep that we're sitting in that is ultimately off-road capable, right? It's yes. got everything you want. And you got the tire to do it. Tires, axles, every, axles, diff locks, everything, right? Yeah. And then you've got one Jeep, which is parked right ahead of uh -huh. us, which is kind of in the middle. A, it's kind a, of it's a kind mix of, of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good on-road. This thing, you know, it's pretty comfortable on road, but my gosh, if you ever have to do a um, like an emergency stop or something like that, yeah. it gets squirrely really quick. Because let's face it, these tires are at home right here. Tommy, we have come to the proverbial fork in the road. Yeah, it appears we have. So, what do you want to do? Well, how about I take the right side and you take the left? Direct side by side comparison. Yeah, and they're about equally as challenging too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except I've got Andre's big butt in mine, so you've got a little <laughs> bit less weight. One of the challenges I have on this very steep hill is the manual transmission. Luckily, I have a hill hold feature, so I can... Wait a minute, he's a little stuck. He's still getting a little bit stuck. Okay, okay. He needs the momentum, I think. A little momentum. He's going. He's working hard. Okay. There we go, up the hill. This is a very challenging trail indeed. Oh, it's struggling a little bit here. Oh yeah. The sand is really, really not healthy. He's revving his engine quite a bit. Uh oh, we just got stuck. Oh, it's, yep. You gotta keep a little bit of momentum to get up this hill. It's definitely, definitely struggling a little bit. Yeah, but he's, it's, he's working a lot harder than this Jeep is. You know what, Andre, this is a lot harder trail. I'm looking this, at this. This is way harder. Oh, you can feel it, think. It's really, really working hard here. And you have both uh, front and rear locked, correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's no good. All right, here we go. A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. You need a lot of protection. You need really strong axles. Man, we just did it. Really strong axles to handle this, this. Yeah, this Jeep is the one to do it in, man. So we've come to a very difficult obstacle. This is going to be a great test of Sport versus Rubicon. It's going to be a good test of approach, departure, breakover angles, everything. Oh yeah, there we go. Whew. Barely made it up that. His Jeep, the Sport, was actually doing everything it could. You know what? What the difference is between these two? Yeah. 
obviously is this one is a little bit more of an off-road athlete right it just makes this look a little bit easier there's a little bit more traction because of the differentials more grip because of the tires and more articulation because of the disconnectable sway, sway bar, bar yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. so and it gives you more confidence right yeah, yeah. so I, I don't think it's working quite as hard here comes the obstacle Oof, that's a big one yeah i'm just gonna get some momentum go up there yeah look at that whoa look at that, look at that. no problem you didn't break a sweat didn't not too a, much didn't break a sweat it's uh it's the more athletic off-road of the two <laughs> yes Andre, how much is the Renegade? Well, the Trailhawk starts around 26,000 minus 30. And uh, Tommy, how much is the uh, Wrangler Sport? Well, the Wrangler starts at just under 24, but this one's 32. So for two grand, you get all this. Right, compared to the Trailhawk. Mm. And that one is almost 44,000. So you get all this <laughs> for about 11,000 more, a little easier. Right. You know what? It really is a Goldilocks thing. It really depends what you want. Do you want something that is more off-road worthy or on-road worthy or something in between. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, what Andre? Cliffhanger 2.0. Reviews. <laughs> yes, reviews. <laughs> See you guys next time. Now, does that have hold descent control? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Mine okay. does. I'll see you down the hill. All right. You've got the manual kind. I've got the <laughs> automatic kind. You know what? It really is the Jeep thing. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck, and we are in Crown King, Arizona. It's a small boonie town way in the hills, and Ram brought us out here to go off-roading and have a lot of fun. Four-wheel drive low, front and rear locker taken care of, sway bar disconnected. Four-wheel drive low, obviously. I try to adhere to the whole thing about us. Uh, slow as possible and as fast as necessary or is it as fast as possible and as slow as necessary i think i'm the latter but in a vehicle like this it really doesn't matter that much i wouldn't say it takes the fun out of it just the idea that you can go over pretty much any obstacle and that there we go a little bit to the right sorry lost some traction there